combos here, Vampire RN, VampireRN.com. Uh, so listen, I've, I've had some people uh, reach out to me and, and ask about extensions, uh, hubs, aka injection caps, uh, all stuff that we use um, in home infusion. Hospital nurses do not use extensions because they do everything for you. But of course, as patients, uh, you got to do a lot of the stuff on your own after we teach you. That's the whole idea here. So let me let me just go over the differences between the extensions. And I'll tell you what, the extension doesn't even really matter so much as the injection cap. So these injection caps all fall under the same category, okay? And what they are is they are positive pressure injection caps. The caps that you get that are the green and white ones that have the green at the top here, even if it's skinnier than this, but it's the same pattern with the green here. These are negative pressure caps, okay? So, when these extensions are on a line and these caps, then yes, it is true that you clamp your line when you're not using it. However, if I take this same extension and switch the cap off to one of these positive pressure caps. If you clamp the line, you're creating negative pressure on the line. Eventually, this cap will fail on your patient, and you will not be able to get labs out of the line. At least that's a great possibility. Um, so I always have my patients not clamp their line when they have the uh, positive pressure caps on, and that includes all of these variations. Again, these would be the um, the only times that you'd have your patient clamp your line. And if they do have the uh, negative pressure injection caps or hubs on the end of the line, you want to have them clamp the line uh, prior to removing the heparin at the end of the infusion. That's uh, when they should clamp it. So this is really for any patients out there who were confused uh, or any nurses who might be uh, learning. So I guess that's it for now. Uh, until next time, peace out.